Jingles Complete Guide Spelling. Language is pretty dang important. They can tell us so much about a buckaroo when we meet them. And it is an expression of our way, just as much as the hat on our head or the tattoo on our heart. It is part of what makes us all special and unique and an important part of this timeline. Long time ago, language was the only thing we had keeping our stories alive. Like a long game of telephone where you whisper, some space raptor in one end and hands on spicy wrapping paper comes out the other. Only this time it's a message passed from generation to generation. That's a long time to keep information straight. Next thing you know we got a rocket full of spicy birthday gifts and that does not go well. This was the case until one day Buds decided to start writing things down with layers on paper so these stories could stick around. This means that information gets stored forever, as long as you do not walk with your papers in the windstorm or accidentally bake them into a lasagna, which can become a mistake if you're not careful with your dang cookbooks. Letters make sounds, and those turn into words, and how we use those words can prove love is real or be part of the devil man agenda. Words are neutral. They're just holding space in the air so we can fill up the world with our ideas. But our ideas are not neutral at all. You can take a bunch of words and make a beautiful message of kindness. Or a scoundrel could easily take these same words and switch them around to make something sad and rude. This is why communicating the intent of a bud is such an important part of writing. After all, that's what all these letters are for. To send an idea from one buckaroo to another. Whether that's a letter to your frozen wife at the bottom of the lake or a message to the future you on some distant timeline. Spelling is a part of this communication. It shows your dang personality as a writer just as much as words do. Most know this in form of intentional misspellings or made up words. There are plenty of authors who trot along in this way. Teddy Geisel, also known as Seuss Man, also known as Dr. Seuss, did this all the dang time. Coming up with diff and doofers and snitches. Heck, even that handsome green Christmas moth man name of Grinch is a made up species name of Grinch. Author Royal Doll also made up the word churgle, which means to laugh and gurgle, I think. I'm not really sure, but point is, it makes me feel like I know what it means, so the communication is there, even if I can't find it in a dang dictionary. And guess what? If we all started talking about how we made our buds churgle, then eventually it would be added to the dictionary. So th th that's just the way words work. It's like an always flowing river of alphabet soup. It might even get to the point where words we think have always been around were made up by a single buckaroo in a book back in the day because he needed a better way to describe the sun's wiener or other way. Surprise! Billy Shakespeare, on his own, made up the following words that we now use all the dang time. Bandit, lonely, elbow, and critic. This is dang true, look it up. Now some buds might be saying, well Chuck, those are just words that buds uh, intentionally spelled in new ways are made up off the top of their head. You gotta spell right, it, it doesn't count if it is on accident. To which the world's greatest author Chuck Tingle says, Wrong, bud. This happens all the time. The word ammunition was from misunderstanding a French way of saying la munition. And eventually the dang A stuck around. This is also true, look it up. So what is right or wrong is pretty open to interpretation of a buckaroo. It all comes back to what you want to communicate. If you're writing a book about a very strict and straight-laced woolly mammoth who never misses a day of work at his ruler factory, then maybe the best way of communicating this is to say every letter is in exactly the right place and every word is spelled with care. If you're writing about a sentient lightning bolt who's lost on the mountaintop and trying to make their way frantically back home to the clouds, then maybe that panic could uh, stand a few spelling errors that slip in. Or maybe you're like Chuck where you say, I would like to capture this moment. This book was written fast and not edited much, so I want it to feel like it was. That's the honest truth of this moment. 
His philosophy is common in musical ways, but pretty dang rare in books. Nobody listens to distorted guitar and yells of Kurt Cobain and says, oh, This is all wrong. Needs to be quieter and more in tune. Punk rocker ways capture the moment. Which means a few missed notes and a few rushed beats. And that, that's okay. That's the way we like it. So if you are writing in a punk rock way, then, then it's okay to miss a few letters. If that's what you want to do. Because guess what, Buckaroo? Whatever you write is your business, not the business of some angry gate man saying, no, no, no. If you want to express your way neat and tidy, that is good. That proves love. And if you want to express as a wild stallion, that is good too. And that also proves love. Just remember, it's not an issue of right or wrong. It is issue of does this communicate my way or not? As man name of Chuck, Punk rocker is my way of spelling, and that's okay. Now it's time to decide, what is your way of spelling, bud?